Hi guys and welcome back to uh, another uh, tutorial on WinCC. Um, what I wanted to kind of show you a little was a previous project that I did um, to give you an idea of the possibilities of, um, of what we're doing. Um, this is a, a, a thing that I'll start up on here on the runtime. We can just see uh, what's on the screen and what's not on the screen um, but these are a lot of symbols um, that you've got available you've got lamps here you've got switches um, later uh, down the bottom you've got um, uh, let's just switch that control okay what we've got here is uh, one of the front panels now you'll see uh, that on this side and along the bottom is part of my template okay so whatever screen that I move into whether it be tracking alarms uh, oh, that needs a password go away uh, scanners you will see that these buttons always oh, I need that as well uh, cancel that control and tracking you'll see all the buttons there along the way Okay, uh, this was a pallet tracking system that we did to uh, have uh, uh, pallets automatically load on the back of a truck, uh, this being the truck here. Um, and you'll see that I incorporate a lot of different things on this. Uh, as I say, we have our buttons here, uh, oh, sorry, our lamps here. Um, I have face plates that appear and disappear we'll go into face plates a little later the same here for information and we have the ability to turn switches on and off now we can't do that because of course we're not uh, connected up to the PLC um, but it's just a general idea I'm not saying I'm the greatest guy on um, graphics at all um, but there we go what I've also created here is I got a little picture of a, an LED uh, with a bevel uh, edge and we put on these little uh, colors that we all see later so if I come out of that you'll see that oops no. right um, the reason that's faulting out actually is due to this MSCOM uh, little object here notice remember when I said to you that you've got that hidden overview underneath well that's that over screen, overview screen in the background there so uh, you'll notice that uh, I've added a load of screens here and if I go into uh, tracking you will also see that I have a lot of objects on the screen and on those based on our last little um, uh, video was that we had the invisible buttons so when those graphics appear that button becomes enabled and that allows the operator to press the button without or press the, the symbol the graphic uh, and for the pallet information to appear for that particular pallet and uh, the rest of this is just pure graphics okay this is done by uh, drawing your lines okay pick a point um, yeah circles which we've got and rectangles okay so that's all done by uh, creating uh, uh, symbols from these uh, some of these uh, symbols uh, like the conveyors I found on the internet as either free uh, uh, graphics so if I go into the animations you'll see that uh, the appearance uh, has certain colors when they change color um, and the general where are we general properties this is where I found uh, pictures or I've drawn pictures um, and created in fact I think I created these ones uh, using Microsoft Paint okay so it just allows me to uh, add the, the picture in and once I'm happy with that picture I just press the set button or clear it if I don't like it okay um, so you can make up a tremendous amount of graphics um, from from paint or from anywhere that you can get uh, pictures from. I think if I remember rightly they prefer either being JPEG and bitmap some of the others don't don't work very well. You'll see a lot of these objects that when we ran 
this um, uh, program earlier, they weren't present, and that's because they're only uh, enabled the appearance and the visibility is only enabled uh, on bits that are high or coming in from the PLC as being high. This just tells me that I've actually got a transfer going on between position one and position two. Okay, so that's uh, some of the, the things that we've got there. Um, what else have we got? In the maintenance, uh, I've got a little maintenance screen here. Um, and I've got some uh, extra objects here, basically buttons, um, but it allows me to get into uh, behind a password, which let's see if, uh, let's see if this runs. Um, and I've got various controls as well to set the system up. So uh, here we, I don't want that. Right, let's go to, uh, let's go to our maintenance screen. You'll see that it wants a password, so I'll just enter our password in, um, and we'll be showing you how to do that. Press the main. Oops. I think it's because I need to be connected. Oh, there we go. No, we don't. There we go. We've got the screens here, so I've got various timer screens that I can go. Exit screens. Okay. And we exit out of that one. PLC, this is quite handy for maintenance so that they can view and monitor the outputs of the PLC. Destination barrier, uh, transfer flags, there's my LEDs again. Uh, lists where I can select uh, a mode for the system. And I've got uh, barcode scanners that I can turn on and off as well. Okay, so we'll be going through all of those. I've also got... Um, uh, the MS com which is communications because I actually have barcode scanner connected to the screen via the serial port and he's operated purely through the screen and then sends the relevant data um, off to the uh, off to the PLC okay so oops, that's the crash dump from the uh, MS com so we will be going through some of these so we'll go back to our other uh, video um, or our other screen shortly um, but what I wanted to kind of show you was some of the, the the properties okay just to show you that these properties are all the same or virtually all the same anyway you've got the appearance the layouts and the flashing animations and events switch on switch off some of them vary if we're using switches um, so we actually have a switch here so you can put a switch on and uh, if you run that, uh, the text will be on for switch and, and zero. You'd have to add a tag, which again, to go through the tags that we had uh, previously, I can choose from the PLC or internal tags. Okay, so I can choose a switch. We don't want an output. So we could do that and, whoops. There we've got the switch on, switch off. We can set those bits. Uh, the process tag will be for uh, uh, enabling that. And we can uh, put a, a switch with text or with graphic. If I go with graphic, then what I can do is go to my simple uh, graphics. Oops, there we go, graphics. And what I can do is select uh, let's find uh, true colors, uh, 3D push buttons, I don't know, switches. Might be under push buttons. <laughs> okay, so we've got, there we go, our switches. So we can say that the switch could be, and that graphic would be select a switch to the left okay so I believe I've actually got it here already so select a switch to the left and I can off to the right which is probably the wrong way around but there we go select a switch to the right and set it so there we go 
I don't want that background in so we can go through some of the properties drop the 3d uh, border and you probably want to change that just slightly dark. Oh, that's too dark Is it that one there there we go to the same background so that again when you run that you will actually see the graphic come up in a minute <laughs> okay and if we I forgot which screen we were on we were on the maintenance screen so if we went into maintenance we've got to go into admin and you can see when you set up these passwords it will bring up a, a keyboard automatically onto the screen so there we go there we've got our switch we can't do anything with it even if we click it so but that's how to get your basic graphics up and then you can just size it the way that you want it to size get rid of the crash dump oops right so you can size it to the way you want it and to put a little label on well that's simple enough um, you've got uh, text fields here um, and you could put you know down in here you could put on uh, you could change the color of that uh, text color to uh, red if you wanted it and then just place it over the top of your graphic um, a little bit better than I have okay so you can create uh, quite a number of uh, switches or buttons uh, very very similar to the way that you did a button um, just that this is a two stage or a single pole switch um, and you can include the graphic onto that okay just to show you really the difference between buttons and switches all right so I hope that's been useful I again play with that because again the 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 text and the uh, the general properties are virtually all the same for every object some of them differ slightly um, animations you got appearance enable the object again all the same properties as we had before and events exactly the same except you you will see some of these change you may have more or less in uh, one or two objects uh, switch on and switch off obviously it's exactly the same as we did prior uh, for the push buttons you just select the, the set bit the, the variable that you want we'll just put that one on for now and then the switch off would be the reset okay um, so really the same one notice oops, I keep clicking off this notice that there is no click on this one whereas on the push buttons we had the click when we did the the click uh, the push buttons earlier we had those down as um, as uh, there was a click uh, value um, which is not available on a switch type so they do change just keep an eye on them but most of the time you'll have the same properties available for most of the symbols okay so we've covered the fact that we can draw lines uh, we can uh, do circles or ellipses whatever we want okay and you get certain amount of properties look at the circle we've got we can make it flash um, we've got uh, animations as well so you can do things with those we've been able to add a switch on and there's the default version of the switch we've been able to either um, make it with a text or we can do it with a graphic which uh, generally what we do and we've been able to import the graphic either from a prior list that we've made or just by going through the miscellaneous or factory graphics true color here but the easiest way is from your graphics there all right so you can see what graphics you've got and you can place those on and obviously when your switch goes on or off you can have the graphic change view to make it look as if a real switch is acting all right again notice the orange I've told it I want a graphic and it's saying well give me a graphic it's a warning to say you need to do something here all right so there we go um, another quick uh, look on a, an existing screen of how we've 
how I've laid things out. I don't say it's a, the best way or the perfect way, but it's a way of doing them. Um, and we will go through some of these other controls at a later date. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, this was just a short video to prove a lot of the objects are very, very similar. Um, and not to get too worried about uh, trying to get switches or buttons or anything else to work. Alright, any questions, uh, send me a message. Um, I'd uh, love your comments and uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Take care now, bye bye. Hi guys and welcome back.